So around 5 or 6 p.m. is usually when I am done doing my work for the day. And at this point, I am just craving to go outside. Since I work from home, I'm usually like cooped up inside all day. And I usually go outside in the morning right when I wake up, then I work all day, and then I go outside in the evening. It just does wonders for my energy. It does wonders for my mental state, my emotional state, my physical state. And I also think having a night routine is something that can be really beneficial, especially because you can really set the tone for your evening to get a really good night's rest. And it can also really help you get in balance if you know what your body needs. This is a great time that I use for self-care and for resetting myself. So I'm gonna walk you through my night routine, what I love to do, what recharges my energy, and let's go ahead and hop right into it. The first thing that I do in my evening is I wrap up any last tasks for the day so that I can truly begin to unwind and relax and not have anything else to think about for the rest of the evening. Next, I really enjoy making a relaxing tea and just chilling out. And sometimes in the evening after a lot of work, I feel a bit lower in my energy. So something that I love to do is actually begin moving my body or even dancing to get my energy back up because your physiology actually affects your mental and emotional states a lot. So if you're feeling lower vibe, get up and dance and you'll notice that it changes your state of being instantly. Plus, it's just more fun. And I have been trying to bring more fun and passion back into my life and this is one of the ways that I do that. Also, if any of you are looking for a really good calming and relaxing tea, this one is amazing and I know it says beauty sleep on it, but it doesn't actually make me tired. It just relaxes me a lot and it makes me feel more calm and more at ease. So I love this tea. This is like a staple for me. And one of the main ingredients of this tea is chamomile. Chamomile is known to be very relaxing and it's also known to help ease depression or anxiety. And there was actually a study where they found that there was a 50% decrease in anxiety of people who regularly took chamomile. And next, I love to get outside. Nature is said to emit a lot of negative ions, which is known to feel very cleansing and also boost your mood. So any time that I have to get outside, that's what I do. love to watch the sunset whenever I can. It is so beautiful and it reminds me of the beauty of our planet. It helps me be way more mindful and present and my problems always seem so insignificant whenever I take time to watch the sunrise or the sunset. And lately, I've also been getting daily notifications on my phone that remind me to live more mindfully and help me reach more of my personal and spiritual goals. Aura Health is my new favorite app for quick guided meditations, life coaching, breath work, and other healing and lifestyle modalities. I love how I could personalize this app to my needs and my goals and also get daily reminders to start making my well-being a priority. I love listening to their coaching classes, meditations, practicing breath work, or even using the app to track my mood and see the improvements and progress I'm making along the way. And they even have hypnosis, which has been really fun to try. So I've personally been loving this app and I noticed that I show up for myself way more when I am using this. So if any of you are interested in giving Aura a try, you can actually get started for free on Aura's website using my special link down below in the description box. And the first 500 people to sign up using my link get the free trial plus an exclusive 25% off. All of that info will be down below with a link for easy access. I hope you love Aura just as much as I do and thank you to Aura for sponsoring today's video. And then of course, a huge swell came up and almost took out me and my camera and it definitely got me a little bit wet, but it was just a funny reminder of how beautifully unexpected nature can be. to take evening walks. 
by the area where I live. They light up these lanterns at night and it is so beautiful to just take a walk after sunset and get more fresh air in my lungs and just enjoy kind of the romantic energy that a sunset kind of emits. It's really beautiful and this is something I love to do. After the sunsets, I love to light candles because I feel like they create such a beautiful ambience and having dim lighting can be quite beneficial in the evening because it helps regulate your melatonin production and your circadian rhythm. Plus, the ambience and the mood that candlelight creates is just so romantic and sensual in my opinion and it creates such a beautiful atmosphere so I love to light candles all over my house. Although I did have to keep on more lights than normal while filming just so that my camera could capture everything better, but most of my nights it's basically just candlelight. So next it is time to make some dinner and I've been trying to eat a lot healthier as I get older and learn more about my body and how our eating habits greatly affect our overall health and well-being. Our gut is actually responsible for most of our serotonin production which is known as the happy chemical and it also produces a library of other neurotransmitters that play a key role in our mental and emotional health. I've personally noticed a lot of improvement in my own health and well-being from eating a cleaner diet and this is something that I really take a lot more seriously as I've gotten older. So here I am just dancing and enjoying myself a little bit while I am cooking and I'm making one of my most made meals of all time which is salmon. Salmon is full of really healthy fats, omegas and proteins so it is one of the more common meats that I eat. And I'm also making that with some salad and some rice. And eating a more colorful diet can actually help you get a wider variety of vitamins, nutrients, and antioxidants. And different foods are also associated with different chakras and different parts of the body. And eating those foods can potentially help bring more balance and healing to the parts of the body associated with those colors and chakras. So I personally like to create a really big salad on the side of my dinner that associates all the different types of colors. While everything is cooking, I usually take this time to check my phone, respond to texts, and call my family. I actually live pretty far from my family and making time to call them whenever I can is very important to me. It's also so nice to let people know that you're thinking of them and take the time to tell the people that you love how much they mean to you. It's such a simple thing, but it has such a big impact on our quality of relationships. to clean up any mess that is left over and that way I don't have to worry about it in the morning and I can have a completely fresh day. I personally really like the feeling of things being cleaned and organized and I find that cleaning can be kind of a meditative process for me that's really like calming and relaxing. A new thing I've been adding to my nightly routine is a sound bath. Before I had my own set of bowls, I used to listen to sound healing videos online, but now that I have my own set, I love to relax and play for a while. 
My personal set of bowls resonates with the endocrine system and can help regulate your hormones through their resonant frequencies. I personally find this to be so healing and it is fantastic. And later on in my evening is when I like to take off my makeup and focus on some skincare. And my favorite face wash is this one by Clear Stem. It feels so soft and gentle on my skin and I love to use it with a microfiber towel which removes makeup better than anything else I have ever used. And you can even use this towel just with water alone and it removes makeup so easily. Shocking. And then after that, I like to use this Umbre & Clay face mask by Fresh, and this is my all-time favorite mask. I've been using it for years, and it leaves my skin feeling so nice after. I use it weekly, and it makes my skin feel tighter, it cleanses my pores, it evens out my skin tone a lot, and I notice if I have any breakouts, it really helps them kind of diminish and heal a lot faster. So this is my go-to to OG favorite of all time, a face mask. And then while my face mask is drying, it usually takes around 20 to 30 minutes to fully dry on my face, so I usually keep it on for that length of time, and during that is when I like to read. I love learning new things and expanding my mind so i'm really into like self-development books new age or esoteric texts or anything else that's just fun and expansive to me as a human After all that, we get back into more skincare. This is when I wash off my mask, which feels so good to get off my face, especially after it's dried. It is so satisfying. And then I go in with my new favorite toner, which is this one by Sublime Skin. It evens out the tone of your skin, and it's also antibacterial, which is pretty nice. And next, I use some moisturizer on my face, and my current go-to is this Adaptogen Deep Moisture Cream by Youth to the People. This is a really nice lightweight one that I enjoy that doesn't feel too heavy or oily on my face. And then after that, I am just brushing my teeth. That is basically my entire nightly skincare regime. This face mask, I swear, it makes my skin glow. Look at this aftermath. I get to the point where I'm like, I don't even need to wear makeup the next day because this face mask works so well. So highly recommend checking that out. 
And after all of that, the last thing that I love to do, and if you add anything to your night routine, I highly recommend this. And this is journaling what I call must do's. These are things that when you write them down, you have to do them. A lot of the times during my night routine, I'm feeling really high vibe and I'm like, I'm going to wake up early. I'm going to exercise. I'm going to do all this stuff. But then sometimes when I wake up, I feel really groggy and I don't want to do it. But if I write it down in my must do's, it means that I absolutely have to do it. No excuses. And this is something that has been very transformative for me because I end up building more rapport with myself, more trust with myself. And I feel so much better when I actually do it. You know, when you like push yourself to do something, even when you don't feel like it, this is my list for creating those types of things. So if I want to work out in the morning and I'm really feeling that and I'm like, I'm going to do a booty exercise on the beach. If I write it down in this journal, I have to do it no matter how I'm feeling the next day. And let me tell you, I've never regretted pushing myself to do something like that. I've never regretted it. I've never been like, I wish I got that extra half an hour of sleep. No, <laughs> never. I've always been really proud of myself for pushing through on those things that I've been really wanting to do. And this point in the night is basically when I start getting ready to actually fall asleep. So either I will begin reading again or I will turn on a 432 Hertz YouTube meditation. Those are actually so nice to wind down to and listen to before falling asleep. It makes me feel so relaxed and meditative. So I really enjoy doing that. And that is basically how I spend my evenings. And I notice for myself, I just really enjoy doing things that genuinely bring me a lot of fulfillment and stuff like this brings me a lot of fulfillment like reading at night doing a lot of self-care during the day spending time out in nature and once in a while i do spend some of my evenings watching tv but i notice it it's more of a decompressor rather than something that brings me tons of fulfillment so this is my routine for feeling really whole and really full so i hope you all enjoyed it I hope it gave you some inspiration for your night routine and I'm sending you so much love and good night.